honestly, I've been hearing a lot about like Notion, Asana, got so many monday.com ads coming in, but to be honest with you, the one tried and true app, and I use Google Calendar, I use all that, but the one tried and true app to really get shit done is Trello. So today I'm going to show you guys how I schedule out my days and my weeks in Trello and how it really just helps me like get things done. It does something with your brain, it rewires it and it helps you get things done. So let me show you guys my scheduling strategy in Trello and uh, let me know if you guys wanna see any more Trello videos, comment below and like this video and you know maybe I'll post some more Trello videos. Thanks for watching, let's get into it. All right guys, so once you go to trello.com and you make an account and stuff like that, you'll see a screen that looks something like this. Now, guys, I apologize, mine is pretty messy. Uh, I've got quite a few boards in here uh, that I just have from previous uh, mentorship students that I've had, uh, business dealings, like projects that I'm working on. So, uh, excuse my messiness. I'm just going to create a new board and I'm gonna show you guys how to create this scheduling tool. It's so powerful, guys. Let's get into it. So you're gonna start out by just hitting this plus button up here and just hit create board. And then what I like to do is, first of all, make sure it's in no team if you just want it to be private and make sure it's on private. Um, but what I like to do is I like to select an image in here that represents my goals, okay? So like if you're like, I'm just gonna use this as an example. If your like goal is to get a Tesla, like, like something superficial like that, or do you want like some kind of vision board in the background, right? I'm sure you guys have heard of that, like rah-rah kind of like vision board motivation, Tony Robbins, the secret type stuff, you know, where they have like images in the background or on their wall of things that they want to achieve in the future or things that they might want to have. Um, I recommend that you, you know, do something like that because it just makes it a little bit funner. So let's say I want a Tesla in the future, you know, uh, I, I am a Tesla fan and I do hope to have a Tesla one day. So what I would do is maybe just type in Tesla and you could throw a, like a Tesla in the background. So that's kind of cool. If you're not into that, you can just go with like a default color. Um, there, there's lots of pictures in here too of just like beautiful landscapes and stuff like that. But once I'm done with that, I just like to add a title and I like to call this my battle plan because that's really what life is. You know, it's, it's a battle and it's a battle within yourself. So I call it a battle plan. You can call it daily schedule, whatever it might be. Um, hit create board when you're when you're ready, and it will open up just like this. And what you'll notice right off the bat is just a, it's just a fun app, right? Like it's colorful. It's like uh, it's pretty intuitive. So what you can actually do is you can just hit add a list. And what I want you guys to do for the first list, if you're doing like a scheduling board, is just put like main focus. And these are like your high level, like big, uh, you know, long-term goals, I should say. So you're just gonna enter your big long-term goals in here. Um, so for instance, let's just say you have like a workout goal, you know, workout uh, or like a fitness goal. So like fitness. And then let's say you just wanna get to a certain weight. Okay, so you would just type in your weight, you type in your full goal right there. I'm not gonna go too in depth with like typing the actual goals, but that's what you wanna do essentially. And then you're just gonna hit add card. Now let's say I have like a revenue goal for my business. Let's say like 150K yearly revenue, add card. And then let's say I have like a goal for personal development. Maybe I want to learn a song on the guitar or something, right? So learn three guitar songs this year. And next, maybe I just want to read like a book a month or something like that. So I'm just going to put 12 books this year. Okay. So I like to put like yearly goals in here. If you want, you could put monthly goals. Um, but these are just your main focuses. Okay. I'm just gonna put weight goal. Okay, so what you do from there is you basically just create a list for every day of the week. So Monday, Tuesday, and then for the weekend, I just put weekend um, and kind of lump it together. If you work on like Saturday and Sunday, like you can just put Saturday and Sunday in here. But what you wanna do is every day, I recommend like starting out the morning routine. This is like what I have always done when I'm really trying to get stuff done. I'd like, I make sure that I have a structured like morning and night routine. I haven't been really great about it lately, especially with like what's going on here in 2020. Um, but 
you know, it's important to have it if you really want to like make big strides in your goals. So I recommend creating a morning routine in here. The best way to do that is just hit that add card and then just hit morning routine. And the cool thing is you can click right into here. And once you have clicked into here, you can add more details, right? So I just like to add a checklist and just name it morning routine. And then I like to put in the different things that I want to do in the morning. So like I said earlier, right? My goals here, 12 books this year, learn a guitar song, um, let's say, uh, uh, get to 150k revenue and a weight goal. So my morning routine is going to like it's going to have these things in it. It's going to contain these things. So one of the goals might be go to the gym. This is one of the checklist items, right? One of them might be uh, practice guitar for 15 minutes, even if it's just a small incremental thing. Uh, one of them might be read for 15 minutes. You know, and you get the point, right? And now that you have this as a checklist, you can come in here every day and you can check these things off as you complete them. And out here, it gives you like a bird's eye view of if you're complete with the morning routine. And what I recommend doing is just duplicating this across your whole week when you're planning your week. So just hit copy and then you can go list Tuesday, create, and I'm just gonna copy it for all of them. And then it's just in there, right? And what I like to do is actually come in and like plan these things out on a weekly basis, like on a Sunday, right? Get get this thing figured out on Sunday, plan out your whole week so that when you actually get into the nitty gritty of your work or your schooling or whatever you guys are doing um, or your career, you know, it's just a lot easier because you don't have to think about what you're gonna do. It's just there and you're just gonna do it, okay? Uh, if you can't do it on like a Sunday and plan the whole week because you have like a weird like schedule or something and it changes a lot, I just recommend you just plan tomorrow today, um, like just plan the night before. And that also works well, I've done that as well. Um, so what you wanna just do after that is essentially just enter in some different tasks that you want to complete throughout the day. So maybe on Monday, you've gotta work on your new website. And the beautiful thing is, if you want to, you can come in here, you can add a description. Maybe you wanna add a few notes, like uh, reminders and stuff like that. Um, and then you can also add a checklist. So maybe there's a certain uh, list of things you need to actually complete within the website, like a list of tasks, you know, just list them out here. You can simply go through and put in all the information that you need to for the week, all of the little objectives that you wanna reach. And then let's say that like you don't complete the work on the website. Let's say you complete uh, list items one and two, but let's say you, actually like haven't um, completed it, right? It's two out of three. Let's say you completed your morning routine, right? But it's two out of three and you gotta move on to the next day. What I'll always do is I'll just drag it over, right? So work on your new website, drag that over to Tuesday. And then it's like all set for the next day. You go to sleep, you wake up, finish that quick thing after your morning routine and then boom, it's done. And once something's done, you can always just uh, right click it and hit archive and it will just go to an archive and you can actually like go look at all of those in the future. Um, but you know, it, it gets it out of the way, it cleans it up. So I like to do that every once in a while. And then you simply just put in all of your routines, all of the tasks that you need to get. And I like to just have this main focus is here just to keep your eye on the prize and to keep thinking about what you need to get done like today in order to achieve your goals in the future. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It, it really makes me happy to make YouTube videos, especially when a lot of people enjoy them and watch them. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below and subscribe. Hit the bell notification if you wanna see more videos like this and you wanna get notified when I come out with more Trello videos. We'll see you guys in the future. Peace.